name's Janice Barlow and this is my video diary of my journey to become a synchronised swimmer. <laughs> I started my training today. I hadn't got anybody in until Mrs Cooper at 11 for a shampoo and set. So Chantelle said that I could come in late provided I locked up so she could get off early for her Zumba. Well, I didn't want to make a fool of myself. So I thought I'd start by looking on the internet. And that's when I found her, my saviour, in Margie Brooks. She teaches synchronised swimming to beginners on YouTube. There she was in her multicoloured floral swimsuit next to multicoloured floral sun loungers by this massive pool in California. It said that she swam with a group called the Unsinkables, and I thought that was a very reassuring name. <laughs> anyway, Imaji said that if you're going to be a synchronised swimmer, you've got to keep your muscles supple. So you should always start with warm-up exercises. Well... I've done everything in my time. I've done yoga, pilates, aqua aerobics, so I know all about them. So I thought it was a good place to start. So Margie said, oh, you have to get your feet hip distance apart, and then you take your left arm and hold it there for 10 seconds. Yes! <laughs> she said left, but she did right. <laughs> well, I'm like that. My day goes mad when I'm navigating. <laughs> but Margie just laughed, so we did one arm. Then we did the other arm. Next, it was the shoulders. One like this. Now, Margie didn't say, but um, I reckon this is probably good for bingo. Like Lorraine Kelly, me. I never go anywhere without a little sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, and this one, it made me feel like a real swimmer. It was my hamstrings. So, you cross one leg over the other. Your arms come up and over your head. And then down you go. really easy, but I think I've made a really good start.